Lyme disease has become a key issue for political candidates in the Hudson Valley. All right, Sharon Crowley shows us the push for more research and better health care for those battling the disease. I was bitten by a tick back in uh, 2012. My son actually was bit when he was 12 years old. People are getting very ill and they can't work. They can't support their families. Here in the Hudson Valley, Dutchess County, and surrounding counties, there are more people fighting Lyme disease than almost anywhere in the country. In fact, one doctor I talked to called it an epidemic. Are we in the middle of an epidemic? There's not even a doubt. We are in a full-blown epidemic in the United States. Dr. Richard Horowitz moved his practice from Queens to Hyde Park, New York, to be closer to what he considers the epicenter of the problem. He's treated more than 12,000 Lyme disease patients here, written books on it, and is pushing lawmakers federally and locally for more funding for research. Lyme disease is caused by a tick bite and can produce a wide range of symptoms. We're not getting the monies we need for research. Um, the NIH is giving about $25 million for Lyme, where Zika virus got almost a billion, even though Lyme is the number one spreading epidemic in the United States at this point. Lyme disease cases are so prevalent here in the Hudson Valley, it's become a campaign issue. Republican New York State Senator Sue Serino is running for re-election in the 41st District that represents Dutchess County. It's one of my top priorities because I've seen, you know, the devastating effects of Lyme disease and when it's not treated, how it affects people. And it breaks my heart. Serino sponsored a bill for a state study to determine if insurance companies in New York State could be legally bound to cover costs of the long-term effects some patients have with Lyme disease. Terry Gibson is a Democrat running against Serino. He says a study doesn't go far enough. Health insurers have long resisted covering the long-term effects of Lyme disease until the CDC recognizes it as a chronic disease. It's long past the time to study it that we know that we have a large amount of people here in Dutchess County and in New York State that are suffering from Lyme disease and cannot afford to pay their medical bills because the insurance companies aren't covering them. Look for Lyme disease to remain the center of this campaign for the state Senate in the Hudson Valley as the number of people diagnosed with Lyme disease each day shows no sign of letting up. We need answers and we need them quickly because we are in the middle of an epidemic. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.